What is quenching in organic chemistry? Imagine you're working in a lab and you have a chemical reaction that's getting too intense. You need to calm it down or quench it to prevent any accidents or unwanted outcomes. In organic chemistry, quenching is a process that stops or slows down a chemical reaction. When you're dealing with reactive compounds like Grignard's, which are highly reactive and can be dangerous if not handled carefully, quenching is essential. For example, to quench a Grignard reaction, you slowly add water or a weak acid, like sulfuric acid, drop by drop to the reaction mixture. This process helps to neutralize the reactive magnesium compound and prevent it from reacting violently with water. Quenching can also refer to the reduction of fluorescent intensity in a substance. This happens when a molecule in an excited state interacts with another molecule or atom, causing it to return to its ground state without emitting light. This interaction can occur through several mechanisms, such as Forster resonance energy transfer, FRET, Dexter electron transfer, or collisional quenching. In FRET, energy is transferred between two molecules, a donor and an acceptor, through dipole-dipole interactions. This process is highly dependent on the distance between the molecules and their spectral overlap. For instance, if the donor and acceptor are too far apart, the energy transfer is significantly reduced. Dexter electron transfer is another mechanism where energy is transferred through the overlap of molecular orbitals. This is more significant at short distances and can be influenced by the formation of hydrogen bonds between the molecules and the solvent. Collisional quenching occurs when an excited molecule collides with another molecule, causing it to return to its ground state without emitting light. This is a common process that can be influenced by factors such as temperature and pressure. In summary, quenching in organic chemistry is a critical process that helps control and stop chemical reactions, as well as reduce fluorescent intensity through various energy transfer mechanisms. It's a vital technique that ensures safety and accuracy in chemical experiments.